So, Marius, at last I find you. Tyrion, yes. Yes, now, now I recognize you, you. I should have known you traveled in disguise. There, they're always watching. I've been searching for you for a long time, Marius. I was rather beginning to think you didn't want to be found. Oh, forgive me, Tyrion, please. It, it wasn't my fault. Not your fault? Tell me, Marius, how was it not your fault? The Wanderer. Yes, it was... was the Wanderer. My days at the Rogue Citadel seemed so long ago. I sought refuge from my memories in the company of other outcasts high in the mountains past the Eastern Gate. Do you want something? Oh, I fought sleep for days at a time. For when I dreamt, the memories would return. Memories of the monastery and the evil which had claimed it. Dreams, memories. I couldn't tell the difference anymore. Had the evil from my dreams followed me at my heels? How had he found me? Could this broken shell of a man, barely able to carry the weight of his own sword, be the burning terror which drove me to hide here? How else could I explain them? 
Were these the demons from my dream, or were they born within the Wanderer? Why did I follow him? I don't know. Why do things happen as they do in dreams? All I know is that when he beckoned, I had to follow him. And from that moment, we traveled together east. Always into the east. <laughs> Well met, noble paladin. It's been a while since I've seen any of your kind in the West. It would be an honor to aid you in any way that I can. No doubt you've heard about the tragedy that befell the town of Tristram. Well, some say that Diablo, the Lord of Terror, walks the world again. I don't know if I believe that, but a dark wanderer did travel this route a few weeks ago. It was headed east to the mountain pass guarded by the rogue monastery. Maybe it's nothing, but evil seems to have trailed in his wake. You see, shortly after the Wanderer went through, the monastery's gates to the pass were closed, and strange creatures began ravaging the countryside. Until it's safer outside the camp and the gates are reopened, I'll remain here with my caravan. I hope to leave for Lut Gulain before the shadow that fell over Tristram consumes us all. If you're still alive, then, I'll take you along. You should talk to Akara, too. She seems to be the leader of this camp. Maybe she can tell you more. I am Akara, High Priestess of the Sisterhood of the Sightless Eye. I welcome you, Traveler, to our camp. But I'm afraid I can offer you but poor shelter within these rickety walls. You see, our ancient Sisterhood has fallen under a strange curse. The mighty citadel, from which we have guarded the gates to the east for generations, has been corrupted by the evil demoness Andariel. I still can't believe it. But she turned many of our sister rogues against us and drove us from our ancestral home. Now the last defenders of the sisterhood are either dead or scattered throughout the wilderness. I implore you, stranger. Please help us. Find a way to lift this terrible curse, and we will pledge our loyalty to you for all time. Welcome, Outlander, to our glorious hovel. I know you're here to challenge the evil that's driven us from our ancestral home. But know this, Akara may be our spiritual leader, but I command the rogues in battle. It will take more than just killing a few beasts in the wilderness to earn my trust. My rogue scouts have just reported an abomination in the monastery graveyard. Apparently, Andariel is not content to take only our living. Bloodraven, one of our finest captains in the battle against Diablo at Tristram, was also one of the first to be corrupted by Andariel. Now you'll find her in the monastery graveyard, raising our dead as zombies. We cannot abide this defilement. If you are truly our ally, you will help us destroy her. 
Join my army of the dead. Sisters, there was no other way. I can hardly believe that you've defeated Bloodraven. Though she was once my closest friend, I pray that her tortured spirit remains banished forever. You have earned my respect, stranger, and the allegiance of the rogues. I have placed several of my best warriors at your disposal. It is clear that we are facing an evil difficult to comprehend, let alone combat. There is only one Haradrim sage, schooled in the most arcane history and lore, who could advise us. His name is Deckard Cain. You must go to Tristram and find him, my friend. I pray that he still lives. As a token of my gratitude, I will identify items for you at no charge. Regrettably, I could do nothing to prevent the disaster which devastated Tristram. It would appear that our greatest fears have come to pass. Diablo, the Lord of Terror, has once again been set loose upon the world. As you know, some time ago, Diablo was slain beneath Tristram, and when our hero emerged triumphant from the labyrinth beneath town, we held a grand celebration that lasted several days. Yet, as the weeks passed, our hero became increasingly aloof. He kept his distance from the rest of the townsfolk, and seemed to lapse into a dark, brooding depression. I thought that perhaps his ordeal had been so disturbing that he simply could not put it out of his mind. The hero seemed more tormented every passing day. I remember he awoke many times, screaming in the night, always something about the East. One day he simply left, and shortly thereafter Tristram was attacked by legions of foul demons. Many were slain, and the demons left me to die in that cursed cage. I believe now that Tristram's hero was that dark wanderer who passed this way before the monastery fell. I fear even worse, my friend. I fear that Diablo has taken possession of the hero who sought to slay him. If true, Diablo will become more powerful than ever before. You must stop him or all will be lost. It is certain that we face the demon queen, Andario, who has corrupted the rogue sisterhood and defiled their ancestral monastery. This does not bode well for us, my friend. Ancient Horodric texts record that Andariel and the other lesser evils once overthrew the three prime evils, Diablo, Mephisto, and Baal, banishing them from hell to our world. Here they caused mankind untold anguish and suffering before they were finally bound within the Soul Stones. 
And Doriel's presence here could mean that the forces of hell are once again aligned behind Diablo and his brothers. If this is true, then I fear for us all. You must kill her before the monastery becomes a permanent outpost of hell, and the way east lost forever. My work here is finished. This is a great victory indeed, but many more battles await. I will accompany you on your journey, lending what assistance I can. Remember, Diablo is still out there, seeking something in the desert. I'm afraid that this nightmare will not end until you find what it is that he seeks. And Dariel's death brings about renewed life for us all. We mourn the loss of our dear sisters, but at least now we can get on with our lives. I may have misjudged you, Outlander. You are a true hero, and testament to the noble spirit which has inspired our order for generations. Farewell, my friend. Finally, we may rejoice. We owe you a debt we can never repay. I only hope that in time, we will be able to rebuild our order. All our thanks go with you, my friend. The caravan is prepared. We may now journey eastward to loot Golane. Traveled east, over the mountains, and into the vast deserts of broken lands. As the days passed, my companion told me of himself, that he had once been a great warrior, and that a dark and secret burden now weighed heavily upon him. We traveled for an eternity across that barren wasteland. How long? I couldn't say. And always, a dark cloud seemed to follow us just over the horizon. Finally, the journey ended. We climbed the last bridge. And there below us lay our destination. The shining jewel looped lane with a great sea beyond. We made camp that last night. Perhaps it was the warm desert wind or the sound of the ocean, but for the first time in many weeks, I slept. However, the dreams returned, but these were clearly not my own. I beheld the vision of a great man, the mage, Talrasha. You were there too, Tyrael. I remember seeing you in my dream. His brethren had cornered a great demon, Baal, the Lord of Destruction, who had been set loose upon the world. They attempted to imprison the demon within a sacred stone. Yet when their attempts failed, Talrasha selflessly volunteered to contain the demon within himself, completing the prison. He instructed his brethren to bind him within a tomb, buried under the sand, there to wrestle with the demon for all eternity. Now you know what I 
I seek, Marius. This is my brother. Sleep now. We set out with the dawn. The next morning, we walked over the hill toward Lutgulain. I had no idea then of the horrors that were in store for me there. Greetings. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jaren, Lord of Lutgulain, and I bid you welcome to my fair port city. I am glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. Now that Andariel is dead, I can return and outfit the rogues properly. Once I've made some trades here, I'll be free to head back to their monastery. Let me know if you want to travel along. Welcome, Brother Paladin. I am Farah. I was once a devout champion of Zakarum. Me! Greetings. I'm Mashif, captain of this ship here. I make port runs around the Twin Seas and occasionally out to Kingsport in Westmarch. I haven't sailed anywhere lately, though. Jaren has ordered me to stay docked here in case of emergency. I have heard of your many deeds of skill and bravery. I feel I can trust you with something I have been hesitant to speak of. Drognan and I have concluded that the Dark Wanderer who passed through here recently was Diablo himself. Drognan believes that Diablo is searching the desert for the secret tomb where the great Horadric mage, Talrasha, keeps Baal imprisoned. You must find Diablo and put an end to the terrible evil that has fallen upon our city. Drognan is wise and is sure to have some helpful advice for you as to how Talrasha's tomb may be found. It may take you quite some time to find the tomb. May you be ready when you do. Ah, the lost Herodric Scroll! What a fortunate turn of events! As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm, the Herodric Mages, after binding Baal within Talrasha, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece, hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rosh's burial chamber. You have quite a treasure there in that Herodric cube. According to Herodric lore, the cube can restore a Herodric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. 
Six gems plus one sword transmute into a socketed longsword. You may also transmute two quivers of crossbow bolts into one quiver of arrows, while two quivers of arrows yield one quiver of bolts. I must leave it to you to discover other formulae. The Staff of Kings! You astound me, my friend. You have discovered the shaft portion of a Herodric staff. I trust you know how to use a Herodric cube to unite the shaft with its headpiece. I've been researching the old records, trying to find the location of Tal Rasha's tomb. Though I haven't found the tomb itself, I may have a good lead for you. The great Vigerai summoner, Horizon, built his arcane sanctuary somewhere around here. He was a powerful spellcaster and kept demons as slaves within the sanctuary. He kept a close eye on great events too, such as the imprisonment of Baal within Tal Rasha's tomb. If you could find Horizon's sanctuary, I'm sure that it would hold some clue as to the tomb's location. Though I doubt Horizon is still alive, you must proceed with caution. There's no telling what could be waiting inside. When I spoke of this with Lord Jaren, he asked that I send you to him. Perhaps he knows of a secret entrance or the like. The Viper amulet you bear is actually the headpiece of a Herodric staff. Yes. You have an uncanny knack for finding rare and valuable artifacts. Of course, you'll have to use a Herodric cube to combine the headpiece with the shaft. Excellent. You have a Herodric staff. Carry it with you into Talrosh's tomb. Find within the tomb the chamber whose floor is inset with the circle of seven symbols. Place the staff into the receptacle you find there. That will open the secret passage into Talrosh's burial chamber. But be prepared for a fight. You'll likely have to kill Talrosh to destroy Baal. When the troubles began here, I allowed the terrified harem guilds to join me within the safety of the palace. All was fine until one night. Screams echoed up the stairwells from the harem. My guards arrived to find the poor girls being slaughtered by a merciless band of hell-spawned demons. My brave guardsmen tried to push the demons back into the mysterious rift from which they came. Ever since, my men have fought a losing battle. Demons have continued to pour through the rift into the palace. Ultimately, I hired Greys and his mercenaries to help protect the rest of my fair city. Drognan believes that the arcane sanctuary lies buried underneath this palace, since Lutgalane occupies the site of an ancient Vigerai fortress. My palace is open to you now. Take care. This surely is the product of a twisted mind. Me! <laughs> Rest in peace, tortured soul. Seekers of the tomb of Tal Rasha will find it through the portal, but know that the glowing glyphs recorded here in my arcane sanctuary are the signs of the six false tombs. The missing seventh sign marks the tomb of Tal Rasha. Of the Herodrum, he might be called the foremost. It was a shining but brief moment for the mage clans, when they set aside their differences and worked together against the common enemy. The Herodrum relentlessly pursued the three across the desolate empires of the east, and even into the uncharted lands of the west, leaving the Archangel Tyriel's hands unblemished. 
Presuming the three to be vanquished, the Herodrum's unstable fellowship began to dissipate. Abandoning their sacred charge to safeguard the three soul stones, the disparate mage clans began to squabble amongst each other over petty differences. Their conflicts not only dissolved their brotherhood, but strengthened the evils which they had buried beneath the cold earth. I am the Archangel Tyrion. I came here to prevent Diablo from freeing his brother, Bale. But I have failed. Now, terror and destruction roam free throughout your world. Even now, they head towards the eastern capital of Kurast, to the very heart of the Zakarum Temple. There, they hope to find their eldest brother, Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who was imprisoned there ages ago. If the three prime evils unite, they will be invincible. Though it is unclear as to what their aims are, it is certain that they must be stopped at all costs. I am broken, and the energies that tie me to this world are diminishing rapidly. You must take up this quest and prevent the three brothers from reuniting. You must cross the sea and search for Diablo and Bale in Kurast. Now hurry, mortal. Time is running out for all of us. The Archangel Tyriel was the one who gave the Soul Stones to the Herodrum 260 years ago. It is highly unusual for the forces of Heaven to so directly interfere with man's destiny, but Tyriel was said to act of his own volition. We have never been able to discern why. Perhaps he goes against the consensus of Heaven because he doubts our ability to defend ourselves. Or perhaps he sees more threat than his peers. Where the actions of Hell often seem straightforwardly bent on destruction, the motives of Heaven are unfathomable. Now make haste. Both Diablo and Bale must be stopped before they join with their brother Mephisto. If the three prime evils unite once again, the world as we know it will be no more. This is terrible news. Bale is in possession of one of mankind's most powerful mages, and the Lord of Terror guides his path. They must be stopped, for I am sure they mean to free their elder brother Mephisto, the Lord of Hatred, who lies imprisoned under the corrupted city of Kurast. I fear you are walking into a great evil, but your faith can save you. May you walk in the light always. This is a serious setback. It is most unfortunate that Tal Rasha has been consumed by Bale's destructive influence. There are many secrets known to the Haradrim which could be used by Bale against us. You must travel east by sea to Kurast and stop Diablo and Bale before they free their eldest brother Mephisto. Oh, the lands of the Eastern Empire are not the same as they used to be. There's been little word for some time. Speed is of the essence. Go quickly, my friend. 
May the fates smile on you. You have done very well. Few could have come this far, let alone discover the true tomb of Talrasha. Unfortunately, I hear that Diablo and Bale have eluded your grasp. This is most unfortunate. If you wish to travel east, I have authorized Mashif to give you passage by sea. I imagine he should be very anxious to leave by now. Good luck on your quest, and thank you again for saving my beloved city. You will always be welcome in Lut Golain, my friend. Jaren tells me I should take you east to Kurast. I haven't been there for several years, but rumor has it things are pretty grim. My companion drew in the dank, cold air of the tomb. It seemed to... strengthen him. I stood in the doorway between light and dark. What was left of my sanity implored me not to enter. But that voice was just a whisper now. As we worked our way down deeper and deeper into the crypt, I began to see a change in my companion. He seemed to be gaining strength. I could hardly see in the gloom, but my companion seemed to know the way. We came at last to a great hall. It was then I realized my companion hadn't been gaining strength. He had been losing what was left of his humanity. He moved with demonic speed and then you've appeared. Stop! The beast contained herein shall not be set free, not even by you. just ensured the doom of this world. You cannot even begin to imagine what you've set in motion this day. Go to the Temple of Light in the eastern city of Karast. There you will find the gate to hell opened before you. You must find the courage to step through that gate, Marius. Take the stone you hold to the Hellforge, where it will be destroyed. Now run. Take the stone and run! What choice did I have? 
I ran. Greetings. Welcome to Karas, traveler. Few come willingly to this ancient city anymore. I hope you brought your wits with you, for sanity is in short supply here. My name is Ratli. I am a sorcerer skilled in metalwork. It'd be a pleasure to help you. I don't have many customers these days. As you can see, the populace has been brutally decimated by the forces of Mephisto. The canals run red with blood, and demons roam the land. The wretched jungle hell has already reclaimed much of Karast. The only safety you'll find is here at the dark side, where a magical warding holds the jungle evils at bay. But I don't know how long it will last. To make matters worse, the children of Zakarum are in league with the forces of Mephisto. The Zakarum have concentrated their power in the temple city of Travancore, located within Karas deep in the jungle wilderness. It's true, their zeal is unmatched, but I say the so-called warriors of light are nothing more than the twisted puppets of a hidden hand. I've not set foot in glorious Kurast for many years, but I never would have imagined it could be so corrupted. Certainly this must be Mephisto's work. You'd best get going, my friend. Diablo and Bale are still out there. And you must find them. You now speak to Ormus, good paladin. He was once a great mage, but now lives like a rat in a sinking vessel. You have questions for Ormus, and doubt in yourself. Ormus sees a strange dichotomy in you, as he does in all would-be heroes. Speak to him, and he may grant you wisdom in turn, or turn from him and seek wisdom in thyself. Never forget that your ultimate purpose here in Kurast is to destroy Mephisto. The ancient Horodrim imprisoned the Lord of Hatred inside the Guardian Tower that is located within the temple city of Travancall. Know this, friend. The only way to gain entry to Mephisto's prison is to destroy the artifact known as the Compelling Orb. Mephisto used this device to control the Zakarum priests and their followers. The orb can only be destroyed with an ancient flail imbued with the spirit of the one incorruptible priest. Soon after his imprisonment, Mephisto worked his evil corruption on the Zakarum priesthood. All were turned to his dark ways, save one, Kalim, the Kay Hagen of the High Council. Mephisto directed the other council priests to slay and dismember Kalim, and then scatter his remains across the kingdom. The priest Sankakur succeeded Kalim as Kay Hagen, eventually becoming the embodiment of Mephisto here on the mortal plane. The corrupted High Council fashioned an orb to control the rest of the Zakarum faithful and used their powers to hide the lair of their master from mortals. Your task is to collect the scattered relics of Kalim, his heart, his brain, and his eye. Then, using the Horodric Cube, transmute Kalim's flail with his relics. Once this is accomplished, you must destroy the compelling orb with Kalim's will to open the way into the corrupt sanctum of Mephisto. Ah, Kalim's eye. Only it can reveal the true path to Mephisto. Place the eye in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics, the heart, the brain, and the flail. You have found Kalim's heart, and it still bears the courage to face Mephisto. 
place it in the Herodric cube along with Kalim's other relics. The eye, the brain, and the flail. of hatred shall darken the world no longer. Our faith in you was well deserved, but Diablo has made his way to hell, and it is likely that Bale followed him there. Enter the infernal gate, and kill the Lord of Terror before all is lost. Only then will our world be saved. It is as you told me, Tyriel. I found the temple of the Zakarum. In the deepest recesses of the temple, I found a dark gathering. My companion, the Wanderer, Dalrasha, and a great evil who could only be the Lord of Hatred himself, Mephisto. I heard a voice then, like a thousand needles in my heart. My brothers, at long last we stand reunited. The infernal gate has been prepared, and the time of our final victory is at hand. Let the way to hell be open. And the evil that was once vanquished shall rise anew. Wrapped in the guise of man shall he walk amongst the innocent, and terror shall consume they that dwell upon the earth. The skies shall rain fire, and the seas will become as blood. The righteous shall fall before the wicked, and all creation shall tremble before the burning standards of hell. But I saw them was not meant for mortal eyes. The gate stands ready. Time has come to assume your true form.
The time has come for you to destroy Mephisto's Soul Stone. Take the stone to the Hellforge, place it upon the forge, and strike it soundly with the hammer. Only by doing this can you prevent Mephisto from manifesting in this world ever again. It is good to see you again, hero. Mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the Light. I knew that you would eventually find your way here. The Pandemonium Fortress is the last bastion of Heaven's power before the gates of the Burning Hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the Light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now, the final battle against the Prime Evils draws near. You must face it alone. I have been forbidden to aid you directly, save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. There is a dark, tortured soul who was trapped within this forsaken realm long ago. He was called Iswal by mortal men, and in ages past, he was my most trusted lieutenant. Yet against my wishes, he led an ill-fated assault upon the fiery Hell Forge itself. Despite his valor and strength, Iswal was captured by the prime evils and twisted by their perverse powers. They forced him to betray his own kind and give up Heaven's most guarded secrets. He became a corrupt shadow of his former self. A fallen angel, trusted neither by heaven nor hell. For his transgressions, Iswal's spirit was bound within the form of a terrible creature, which was summoned from the abyss. His maddened spirit has resided within that tortured husk for many ages now. It seems to me that he has suffered long enough. I implore you, hero, find Iswal and release him from his cruel imprisonment. Put an end to his guilt and suffering. Tyrion was a fool to have trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all your kind are doomed. Thank you, hero, for putting Iswal's tortured spirit to rest. May the light protect you and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. But if what you tell me is true, then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. Iswal helped Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the soul stones against them. Now the stones' powers are corrupted. With the combined powers of the soul stones under their control, the prime evils will be able to turn the mortal world into a permanent outpost of hell. Halt! Before venturing into Diablo's lair, go to the Hellforge with Mephisto's Soul Stone. Place the stone on the Hellforge and use the Hellforge hammer to destroy it.
Diablo's death end the reign of the three. I knew there was great potential in you, my friend. You've done a fantastic job. Though my ancestors often struggled against the three evils and their minions, I've always lived a shut-in scholarly life. I'm glad that my wisdom aided you. Now, I wish to leave this place. Though heaven's gates are a marvel to behold, I hope I won't have to see them again for many, many years. Please, talk to Tyrael about leaving this place now. Praise be to the light. You have accomplished the impossible. Diablo and Mephisto have been banished back into the black abyss that spawned them, and the corrupted soul stones are no more. However, while you were fighting here, Baal remained behind in the mortal realm, building an army of hellish minions. Now Baal's army is searching for the World Stone, the ancient source of all the Soul Stones and their power, while leaving behind a wake of destruction. They have forged deeply into the barbarian homelands, heading directly for the summit of Mount Arya. Baal knows, mortal hero. That is the very site of the Blessed World Stone. Now, enter the portal I have opened for you. It will take you to the barbarian city of Horogoth, the last bastion of Ori on the slopes of Arya. stone, and all is forgiven. Give it to me, Marius. Take it. Take it, take it. I'm glad this is finally over, Tyrion. Look what the stone has done to me. <laughs> You haven't failed, old man. You've done exactly as you were meant to do. However, I am not the Archangel Tyriel. Bell. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> you have done well, Marius. Now I think you shall have your reward.
Bail! The gates of Sacheron have stood for eons beyond remembrance. And you shall not breach them now. Remove your foul demons from our lands. We stand on the side of light. And you shall not be allowed to reach Mount Ariat. And that which you seek will not be yours. Enough! Enough! I shall take your position into consideration. Your terms are not acceptable. <laughs> I am amazed to find this place so untouched. Everything else in the path of Baal, the Lord of Destruction, lies in ruin. These barbarians must indeed be the legendary guardians of Mount Ariat. They are a proud, hardy people. Don't expect to be greeted warmly. Strangers here rarely are. Perhaps I can gain their trust. I'll spend some time with the townsfolk and try to understand them better. I'll let you know what I discover. A paladin. I have long heard of your people. As a young warrior, I even considered the pilgrimage to Kurast. But I was younger then and foolish. My place has always been here, protecting Haragath and Mount Ariat with it. I am Qualkek the senior men-at-arms of Haragath. You have the look of a warrior. An extra soldier will be useful, but don't expect anyone to mourn if you get yourself killed. Bale is true to his namesake. He has ravaged through our lands like a merciless plague. The protective ward laid down by our lost elders helps hold the evil at bay. But Bale's siege has taken its toll all the same. Most of my men are now dead. Others are trapped in the mountain passes. But I swear we are not beaten yet. We will fight to the end to protect this mountain. Well, well. The siege has everything in short supply. Except fools. Why would you seek this place, stranger? Are you a vulture come to loot the bodies of our fallen warriors? Regardless, this is no place to make a name for yourself. The mountain is ours to protect. It is only a matter of time before Hell's legions are routed. I, Mala, welcome you to Harogoth, the last stronghold of order on Mount Ariat. You have come to the right place if you intend to defeat Bale, the Lord of Destruction. Bale has laid waste to our mountain and its denizens. His minions continue to attack our town, while Qualkek and his men have proven helpless to stop them. Bale is still out on the mountain looking for something, but I know not what. All of the elders, save Nilathak, sacrifice themselves to place a protective ward around Haragoth. Some of us here, certainly Nilathak, do not appreciate your presence. 
We are a proud people, and it is not easy for us to accept aid. I, however, am glad you are here. If you need healing or a potion, please come to me. See Larzak for weapons, armor, and repairs. Nilethok, despite his disposition, may be of some assistance with other wares. Finally, Qualkek, our man-at-arms, leads Herogus' remaining forces against Baal. There is a matter which I hesitate to share, but I believe you are the only one who can help me now. Anya, the young alchemist and daughter to one of our slain elders, has been missing for some time. She is a strong, crafty woman with a spirit like no other. One night, just before your arrival, I overheard her and Nilathak arguing about her father's death. The next morning, she was gone. Nilathak has his own tale as to where she went and why. Don't believe him. I fear he's at the root of her disappearance. Please, if you can, search for Anya and bring her back to us. She'll know what to do about Nilathok. Yes. Anya, who have you been talking to? Likely it was that meddling Mala. Well, I'll tell you what really happened. Anya came to me for guidance after receiving a vision that her mother and younger brother were trapped in the lands beyond the ice caves. She had decided to go rescue them. I told her that her quest was a foolish one and that she would be safer staying within the city walls. However, she is a willful girl and would not listen to me. The next morning she was gone. No one is more distraught than I over losing her. However, if you feel the need to be Mala's errand child, I'll try to stop you. Hero, Nilathak did this to me. If you've come to help me, my only hope lies with Mala. Please, tell her you've found me. So, that snake Nilathok was behind Anya's disappearance, and he trapped her with a freezing curse. Here, take this potion to Anya and give it to her. That should release her. Thank you so much for bringing Anya back to us. I have devised this spell to increase your resistances as a token of my thanks. I know it isn't much, but I hope you find it helpful. Please, go talk to Anya. She has urgent news concerning Nilathok. You have proven yourself a true hero to me and my people. These are dark times, warrior. I hope you can bring an end to Bale's reign of destruction. Our Council of Elders is gone, my father asked among them. The one thing that keeps us from total despair is the promise of vengeance against Bale. Thank you, hero, for rescuing me. To show my personal gratitude, I give you this. I had it custom made for you, by Larzak. Nilathok told me he struck a deal with Bale to protect Haragath. In exchange for the demon's mercy, the misguided fool plans to give Bale the relic of the ancients, our most holy totem. Doing so will allow Bale to enter Mount Ariat unchallenged by the ancients. I tried to stop Nilathok, but he imprisoned me in that icy tomb. Nilathok must be stopped before he dooms the whole world. As much as I would love to strangle the life out of him, I'm afraid I haven't the strength. You must go to his lair through this portal I've opened, kill him, and then bring back the relic of the ancients. Stop, Nilathak, from destroying what we have striven for eons to protect.
have stopped Nilathok, but he didn't have the relic. He must have already given it to Bale. Now Bale will not be tested when he reaches Ariat's summit. <sighs> Damn Nilathok. <sighs> I do thank you for trying, though. Please, allow me to honor your courage by magically inscribing your name onto an item of your choosing. It's the least I can do. We are the spirits of the Nephilim, the Ancient Ones. We have been chosen to guard sacred Mount Ariad, wherein the world's stone rests. Few are worthy to stand in his presence. Fewer still can comprehend his true purpose. Before you enter, you must defeat us. Overcome the greatest challenge this world has ever faced and defeated the last of the prime evils. However, we are too late to save the world stone. Bale's destructive touch has corrupted it completely. Given enough time, the world stone's energies will drain away and the barriers between the worlds will shatter. The powers of hell will flood into this sanctuary and eradicate your people and everything you've labored to build. Therefore, I must destroy the corrupted world stone before the powers of hell take root. This act will change your world forever, with consequences even I cannot foresee. However, it is the only way to ensure mankind's survival. Go now, mortal. I have opened a portal that will lead you to safety. May the eternal light shine upon you and your descendants for what you've done this day. The continued survival of mankind is your legacy. Above all else, you have earned a rest from this endless battle. Thank <laughs> you. 